Hey folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to explain to you how to create your custom library. In the library you can create separate folder and manage the objects, for example standard part, push asset parts and so on. So here is the example that if you would like to create for example new assembly and into new assembly you would like to add some most used components. Yeah, for example that you will create the first model, second model, and so on, and so on. And then you would like to add some components. So you know that in the folder you can place the couple of objects. And for example, if I will select the nuts, you can see here that over here is the couple of objects here. But you never know what does it mean because over here is no description. And question is if it is possible to add description into library. So, for example, it will be engine, you will hit description, what is the size, what is the order number, or what is the additional parameters. If it is screw, you can really simply recognize what is the SAP material number, or what is the, for example, material or the strength of the screws. Because, for example, if I will select the screw, I only see the names and nothing more. And in this example, I'd like to show you that it is possible to create your custom library. First of all, it's necessary to set up the configuration option. So, if I will jump here, you see that I set up for me the Pro Library and here is the path. So, Pro Library means that this configuration option read this path and over there are a couple of files. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to focus on the explanation of these files. Directly, if you will set up this information and you will come from OK, the system will create for you the Pro Library folder. And if you will specify over here in the selected path, for me it's the Focusat Configuration Library, I have created index MNU the file and then the system automatically recognized the information inside. So you can see here on the left hand side it's 4K side library. And how the system read it? And you can see right now that I will arrange the windows here that we have a configuration options. This configuration option reads the file MNU index and in the index you can see that I have specified first folder is ISO 4762 ISO 4762 and description hexagon, socket, head, cap, screw. And second example is ISO 04032 and it's a hexagon nuts. And how to system read this index menu file? If I will open or add components into assembly, doesn't matter. So if I will select open and I will select right now on the left hand side this library, new folder, the system automatically show me the exact names of the folders from the menu file and description. So if you would like to change something here, open file and for example arrange the description here, simply some small changes. So screw will be at the beginning and again maybe the nuts will be at the beginning because you would like to better understand that is the screw nuts and then you will read the description simply to save the file and if you will select the 4k side library the system will has description will be changed yeah so nut and screw the question is how it's possible to read data inside of the folders so i will jump for example in the screws over here you can see that I have four screws and again a couple of description inside. OK, we can leave this window open and I will open again the menu file for the ISO 4762. We will jump here in the ISO 4762 and again you see here that this is the menu file. and simple explanation. You can see that in Creo the system read the naming of the objects directly 
but you have to be careful that on the hard drive the system has the indexing index 1 index 2 index 3 and so on over here in this example is only index 1 but never write the index for the name so use please only name and the type of the components it will be assembly please apply asm and you can see that right now i have a four different screws and four different screws are in the description on menu file on hard drive and in Creo. but how it looks like for the another example so i will jump back in Creo. i will jump into not hexagon folder and right now you can see that i have only three objects here if i will open the folder iso 4032 i can see that i have over here more than three objects so what does it mean in the menu file r place it only three objects so in the creo you can see only three objects so library can contain a lot of components and visualization in Creo library window for opening will be what is described in menu file. If you would like to add the additional screw nuts or component, we can say simply 3D model or assembly. You can simply copy existing information, control C and control V. And again, what is necessary to change is only name. So for example, here, I know it, it is the M10 and the number is 25566. And again, over here, you can write your code, description, notes, or anything. So for example, test 01, okay? And we will see how it will looks like. So save the file jump in Creo and you can jump and read one more time. So go to main folder and read. And right now you can see that in Creo is directly visible for objects. In this video tutorial, you have learned how it's possible to manage your custom library direct directly in Creo. It's possible to create folder manage folder and description and into folders is possible to manage 3d model assembly and description for user components thank you very much for your likes and bye bye Vladimir.